Referee. First game, Shibayev of Team Mace to serve. Interesting. Love. These oh. two played against each other in Australia. So let's see who gets off to the quicker start this time. Shabayev will be looking to take blood from the Englishman. This should be a fiery match. Maybe we'll see our first yellow card. Who knows? In, in Australia, it was Drinkle that got the quicker start, but then Shabayev came roaring back to, call, to go two sets to one up. However, then Drinkle took the next three. So this will be interesting. Again, 24 minute match. The clock's going to kick down. Speaking to Jorg Roskopf there in the little break. Feeling fairly comfortable putting Paul Drinkle against Shabayev. Thinks that Paul will have the mental edge over him. But we'll see. We know how strong mentally Shabayev is. That straight round to his bench there, fist held high. England man means business down the practice hall early this morning. Really pumping himself up here. Do you recognize him, folks? That was a good miss from Paul. Always playing well when he's looking for his forehand. How many times that serve catches players? People can replicate that though. Quick to the first flick and then the next ball. Wonderful hand control there. Well, he was still over the table from the flick. Might as well have just stayed there and played another forehand. Why not? Interesting tactical change here. Going for the backhand serve. Very slow opening up shot and followed it up a much quicker, more aggressive forehand. Get the concentration on Drinkle getting low. Interesting though, always looking to play short of the receive. Only takes on the flick if he knows he can absolutely drill it. Four minutes played already, and we're still in the first set. Drinko oh, there, shadow playing, trying to cut the ball down. Wasn't short enough, too loose. Sitting here from our position, that ball just bent round the side, really kicking out, going right into the stand. Four game points then for the Russian. And he takes it, first time again. Really clever, interesting, the second half of the game. Well, Shabayev shuffled into the middle of the table and was just coming in with the little dead backhand serve. Now, a lot of you guys at home will be thinking, oh, well, Paul Drinkle won the last time. But as we know, Shabayev in the cavern is pretty special. Really fired up here, wants to take revenge, wants to get the $1,000 bonus. 
Of course, the players are still on the same side of the table. Only switch after two games in the cavern. In that first set, Shabayev winning 63% on the return of serve. Now, that's extremely high, especially when it's just the first set. So it's Mays' team, 5-4 to four up on Rossi at the moment. Lovely little banana flick there. Really high class spin kicking off the table. We'll see it again. Just kicked up to Shabayev. Wasn't really ready for that. Another flick again, only this time more power, a little bit flatter. Have some of that. A little backhand splat down the line. Opening up, look at that one. Very tough one. You're hitting down lines at pace like that. Really tough for anyone. Just hesitated on that. Waited a little bit longer. Tried to get a little bit more deception. Characteristic mistake there from the Drinkle Racket, just popping it a little bit high. It's still a good put away though from the Russian. Interesting note, Drinkle's received just going a little bit loose. They want to cut that down, but as of course, Shabayev is serving a little bit more float. He wants to serve, receive to drift. Drinkle a little bit wiser to that float serve, but still it wasn't enough. Shabayev could feel like he was playing cross court, had time to turn. Shabayev, he is. He's, he's so knowledgeable, knowing the right moments to turn. Lovely little set play there. I might call to Paul. Knew straight away this was the time that was needed. Just felt that Shabayev was getting a little oh, bit too comfortable minute. with the routine of play. Wonderful slow mo there of the Drinkle backhand. Catching the ball right up at the edge of the racket when he hits a big one. So many players, so many people that don't play the game think that they have to hit the ball right and out if, of the middle of the racket. Samara warming up. If it's more aggressive, then it's, then it's really short, then you can start. At first you can start Cheng as well. Ah. Game, yeah? Come on, Paul. It's good to see. Come on, Paul. Come on. Asian and European warming up together, and we've seen so much of that so far in this T2 family. Quick off the bounce again. Alexander, look at that one, right off the bounce. It's normally Drinkle that you see in that position for his second shot. Looking to make things happen as the Russian number one. Off on his feet there, knows how important this game is. Doesn't want to let Shabayev run away with his second set. We all know the clock is still on, so getting a point early on the board is crucial. What a wonderful oh, flick seven. there. Trademark Drinkle. 
Fuck it, this. I'm gonna push, I'm gonna push. No, I'm not. That was unfortunate there. He had to pick a side. Maybe chose wrong there. So many times, though. Shabayev there would have ran round. So athletic there from Drinkolo. Getting around the corner, getting back out wide to the Eight, forehand. Shabayev again. Opting for the backhand serve. Eight, Look at that so early, ladies and gentlemen. Not even using his forehand. That is all wrist super early. A lot of us could try that though and make an absolute hash of it. Eight, seven. These are some of the best players in the world and you just have to sit back, relax and enjoy. Eight, Look at four. that. I can't count how many flicks Paul Drinkle has won. I think we should have a table for that. Oh, Shabayev there, waiting to the last second for Paul to serve to call a timeout. Very tactical there, wanting to run down the clock a little bit before he called a timeout. Trying to upset the Englishman's rhythm. You really do have to appreciate the strength, the power, the discipline that all of these world-class athletes have right here. Southern Malaysia, and go for it, yeah. all Wait the players here if it's a bit doing tighter, battle, okay, as Jörg says, look, go for it, this is your game, again again in this get out there, the get your forehand in. Drinkle now, two serves. Big forehand there from Shabayev, and when he's got time, he really can launch in. Michael Mee is just telling his player, it's okay, calm down, just settle yourself. Shabayev, one set to the good. Nine all. Winnie Che, referee saying, come on, let's get shifting, boys. Lovely shot received, dumped into the net from Shabayev. And out of nowhere, Paul Drinkle has a chance to win this set. Oh, net off. Just had to go for that, did he? Well, now we're into sudden death. Pretty appropriate, I think, for this set. All just been told there. Get on with it. And that ball has been sent to the moon from Paul Drinkle. And if he doesn't get a yellow card there, I'll be extremely surprised. Well. Looking at the umpires, they're not even reaching for it. No warning to be given either. Usually that would be key by now. This is an absolute joke here. Stay down, head to ball. Pretty sure the umpires have change. lost their rule book. Back and service, be ready. I'm astounded easy, there. Easy, easy, You have time. Breathe. If I had been an umpire today, I definitely would have sent out about three yellow cards by now. So. That's done and dusted, and we're back here for the third set. Players have now changed round. 
after that second set. And Shubayev chipping us in with a backhand serve. One, no. Look at that, Shubayev running back to the serving position. Wants to get on with this. Feels like he's in a good rhythm now to take the third. How early that was. That's probably the slowest backhand you'll ever see from Drinkle. Left. One, off. Slow backhand, still a clean winner. Yes. Two, one. Still positive though on Drinkle's side. Even after that explosion there at the end of the second set. Has composed well. Shabayev, you can hit the ball hard as you like, but I can hit it harder. Great example there. Someone's forehand overpowering into someone's backhand. Good play all round, wonderful pressure exerted from the Drinkle racket. Now, this is interesting, just under 10 minutes to go. If Drinkle runs away with this, we could find ourselves in another set, meaning it could be tied 2-2. And that's what everyone wants to see here. No one getting their $1,000 bonus. Crash, backhand, flick. We've seen it all from both players, really. Wonderful backhands, Players. forehands, touch round the net. Five, We've seen a ball one. being launched out of the stadium. This is great to see. Oh, look at that. That was about a meter in the air. The kick off his wrist last second, just soaring that ball up. Should I have even had time to turn, but just must have been baffled by the trajectory. Good backhand pick up there from Shabayev. He's still aware. He's as ruthless as ever. He knows if he was to get back in and pinch this set, thousand dollars will be going into his bank account. Nice little forehand dribbly spin there from Drinkle. Lovely mix between power and spin. With eight and a half minutes left in this match. Really is anyone's. Now how many of those is he going to let past him, Shabayev? Just opening the front door there, letting Paul come in. Sit in my sofa anytime. Paul, Paul pointing to the table directly. Real sportsman like here. As he skips back to the table, he's got a four point lead, does the Englishman. Let's see what Shabayev has to say about that. Five, eight. I think we could all hear what he said there. Well, let's get back in. Well, that's the first one he's missed. Lovely shot of the cavern. 15,000 square feet. Eight, seven. Now, this is interesting. Paul's let a lead slip before in this match. Really needs to be mentally tough now. Needs to be aggressive, needs to be in first.
And another massive shout from England's Paul Drinkle as he looks to try and restore the lead. Doesn't have to look pretty, ladies and gentlemen, as long as it gets the job done. Shubayev, seven, Get back up to the table, Shubayev. Let's keep this play continuous. How well he moved round the corner there. And there is no way he was recovering after that one. That was an all or nothing. That's for you league players out there that lean round the corner. Get your feet in position. Get round there. Spectacular. Oh, there must have been a hole in his bat there because he was right by the ball. Cry of pain there for Paul. Really disappointed with that one. Look at him. You'll just be able to see his face of anguish in about two seconds. Look at that. This really is hotting up here in the cavern. Let's up the air conditioning. Players, play on. Nine, oh. Players, get back to it. Old Drinko, back to the table now. Two serves to come. Back defending again. Really tough against the power of Shabayev when you're that far back from the table. Michael Mee is looking on a pole there. He found himself in a few of those positions over his career. Called one of the best defensive players in the world. Just ask how Shwai that one from 2006 in Aarhus. Got to be gutted with that one. Well played, Shabayev, as he marches back. Team Mays delighted with that. Even Timo Ball off his feet. Off trough, just giving a little bit of a nod to him. Yeah, Shabayev, you're playing well, mate. Just a pity it's against my team, mate. Leos, hi. Look at Timo Ball's face off with the camera there. Oh, a nice little shot of our little VIP section. All of these guys enjoying the live action so close, a few meters away. I feel them having nine. to get off their seat to even get a ball. Oh, how dare they get off their seat. Fourth game. Three for the serve. Love all. Just has to be mentally strong now. It's damage limitation for England's Paul Drinko. One, love. How early was that? Straight over the table, taking no prisoners. Even getting the locale correct right into the middle of Shabayev. Jorg apologizing there for a little bit of a choke straight away. Sorry, Shabayev. So, with less than three minutes to go here, we're probably not going to see a full game. Wonderful play again from Shabayev. The way he was able to just caress the ball back from deep. Wonderful athleticism from both players. No, of course you all know. Watching the Fusion episode one, Michael Mears chose Shabayev because he was a young player coming up with a lot of power, a lot of mental strength. I think that choice is paying off for him. <laughs> Wonderful hunt round the corner there from Alexander. Getting round there, get the feet into position, play to the right area. And with less than two minutes to go, Whoever's leading in this set, when the buzzer goes, that'll be it. Now we all know that's not very easy to put away. A lot of us have been in that position. Top edge into the stand sometime. The Englishman did well there to compose himself. That was all set for one of the sporting bloomers episodes there, if you had missed that one. 
Shabayev just being called for a serve, should be in the middle of his palm and straight trajectory. Roscoff and Oftrov laughing there on the side. How many of these calls are they going to make? With 45 seconds to go, touch and go, and what a wonderful dig there from Drinkle, he's been flicking out all day, nice little change. Let's, five, three. Another let's serve. He was trying to quicken the play there, Shabayev. He knew there was only 20 seconds to go for two points. Oftrov celebrating already, getting a point on the board. He knows it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> and the buzzer goes just as that ball gets launched past the Drinkle racket. What a wonderful match, ladies and gentlemen, that we've just seen.